Hi, welcome to the new beta of Skype 4.0 for Windows. Last time I was here talking with you, we were announcing a new way in which you experience Skype. We spent a lot of time going through your feedback and going through your comments from the blog space, from forums, from the button in the software, and also an email survey. And in fact, we've had more than 45,000 people out there telling us what they think and how we can make the software better for you. And to all of you out there, I'd just like to say thank you. Thank you for your time and for your passion in helping us create an experience that's right just for you. We were certainly really pleased that a lot of you out there let us know that you enjoy using the new version. However, what we heard in the forums is that some of you would prefer a more familiar experience, something like some of the older versions. So today I'm bringing you some good news in that we've brought back some old functionality and made some changes to make the second beta even better. For example, contact groups are back and they're now called contact categories and we've made some changes to them. And we've also introduced something new called Compact View. And this allows you to work with Skype in a smaller space on your screen in a way that you are more comfortable with in our older versions. So let's have a look at some of these new things. Firstly, let's have a look at the contact categories. Here you can see from the contacts menu, if I go down to contact categories, I've got a whole bunch of default categories that we've created for you. What I'm going to do now is go and create a new one. So I click on the create new button and type in here. Then all I do is expand all my contacts and I drag and drop people into this particular contact category. And that's it. The other thing we heard is that some of you were experiencing problems missing important events. So for example, if I was away from my computer and I missed a call or an instant message came in from someone else, sometimes it wasn't always easy to see that there was something I needed to go and pay attention to. So in the new beta, we've made some big changes to the way that alerts and notifications work. So let's have a look. If I'm not working with Skype at the moment, so I've got my desktop in focus, for example, what you will see when someone sends me a message is that a little pop-up will appear in the bottom right corner with a preview of the message. What you'll also see is that the taskbar item is highlighted in orange and it will remain in orange until you go and have a look and see what you've missed. So let's click on that. Once again you can see here the conversation tab has been highlighted in orange. So if I click on that here you can see there's something from Nathan and there's the instant message that Nathan's just sent me and I can carry on having a conversation with him. The most amount of feedback we received was about how much space Skype was taking up on your desktop. What we found is that a lot of people got used to this after a while and really enjoyed this sort of way of working, but there are still many of you out there who would prefer to work in a more comfortable space that you're familiar with from older versions. So what we've done about this is two things. Firstly, we've made the ability to resize any area on the screen a lot better. So for example, here in my conversation with Emma, I can take her profile and drag it up and it resizes quite nicely and it creates some more space below where I can use some instant messaging with her. Secondly, what we've done is we've made an entire new view which we call Compact View. And so here if you go to the View menu, hit on Compact View, what that does is it separates the single window into two windows and so here you can see I've got my contact list on the left hand side and any time I have a conversation with someone, it'll open up into a separate window in a very similar way to how all the older versions of Skype worked. So let's take a look and see what a video call looks like inside Compact View. If I click on the video call button. Hello. Hi, Emma. I'm just doing a little demonstration of a video call in Compact View. So what you can see over here is a familiar video call with Emma's video at the top, mine at the bottom. And for example, if I wanted to have an instant message conversation or send some files, I can do that in Compact View as well by just clicking on the icon over there. And you can see that the video has resized itself. And now at the bottom, I've got some space to um, send an IM or send some files or do any of that functionality that makes Skype so useful. Emma, thank you.
Thanks, bye. Bye. Great, so that's all I wanted to speak to you about today. We've spent a lot of time trying to address most of your feedback, and so if you go along to skype.com and get yourself a copy, I'm sure you'll see some of your thoughts reflected in there. And again, please send us your feedback on this new version, because it's exactly that that helps us craft an experience that's right just for you.